Hey Dan, we're back for the second part of Spider-Man's levels, and let's get right into it. This one features a lot of the same hazards we saw last time, in terms of these Spider Slayer robots with their explosives and some of the other uh, cr wall crawling or floating enemy robots, but there's a couple of new challenges this time around. One is that there are instant death pits. So if you go down too far, if you fall and there's nothing beneath you, you will simply die. So you have to be very careful about where you're going and where you are landing. Especially since the enemies can and will push you backwards. Alright, now here's the other new threat for this level, and it's the wind. So you can see trying to jump into the wind is very difficult. And it changes directions. It'll go left, down, right, and down. There we are. So you have to time what it is you want to do with what the weather is doing. There we are. So right now it's safe for me to swing off to the right because the rain is going in that direction now. It's going to be harder for me to fall straight down with the rain going that way, so I'm going to wait. There we go. Except now the rain is pushing me towards the edge. So a lot of this level comes down to uh, patience, waiting for the rain to be right, and also just keeping your eye out for those hints about where you can go. So you can see at the far right hand side of the screen there's sort of bits of metal that indicate okay there's a wall there so I'm gonna wait for the rain to be either downwards or pointing to the right and swing over grab onto the wall there again I don't want to swing into the rain so I'm gonna wait patience is definitely a virtue on this level And knowing where to go, uh, it does come with a bit of trial and error, but like I said, there are hints that you can sort of keep your eyes open for. Like at the very bottom of the screen, I can see that there are platforms there. Don't want to risk going that direction, though. Another hint is that here you can see there's sort of an arc of spiders for you to collect, so that'll tell you which way to go. Luckily, I did not get knocked down. And I'm just going to try to avoid that whole mess. And even fighting the enemies becomes more difficult because the brain will push you towards them push you away from them. That can really muck up your timing. Now you can see there on the far right hand side of the screen there's a platform, that sort of uh, teal color there, so I should be able to jump. There we go. And then another arc of spiders to tell you where to go. And uh, you can always swing back and forth between those to get them. Now I, oh, you can see the w rain is too much for me to jump up and around. I'm gonna swing across there. Get rid of these spider slayers. Yep, there's that one there. Follow this wall down. And you can see those windows there. That's your hint that there's a bit of a ledge beneath you, but not much. So, a bit of a uh, couple of swings of faith to get down there. And you can sort of see it. There's a there's a Spider-Man extra life there, which is worthwhile to get. Especially as how I think I might be dead, yes. Alright, continuing on from where I died before. Just want to clear that robot out of the way. There we 
we are. Now the timing on this swing is well, not too difficult. Just going to once again wait for the rain to be going to the right, and then I'm going to, or to the left rather, and I'm going to take a nice big leap up. There we go. Get that health. Swing across and destroy that spider slayer. Yep, there's one more there. All right. Yes, so we have reached the boss portion of this stage. So we've got Carnage and Rhino. So Carnage will bounce around and try to hit you with his projectiles. Rhino will run back and forth uh, along the bottom of the screen. And you can see any, every time Rhino hits the wall, he knocks you off of whatever platform you're on. So, you have to be wary of that. Your spider sense will tell you where Carnage is, so even if you can't see him on the screen, you know roughly what direction he's going to be coming at you from. And looks like they were a bit too much for me. Alright, let's try that one more time. Okay, so taking another stab at Carnage and the Rhino. See, basically you can sort of fire off into the direction that you know from your spider sense that Carnage is. And then, with any luck, just sort of keep him bouncing around. If you stay in the middle, then you're unlikely to get hit by the Rhino after he knocks you down onto the ground. Keeping your eyes open for any sign of carnage. Yeah, you don't want to let him get too close to you. Okay, so he's done. And that's good, we get a bit of health there. Now to deal with Rhino, you can slow him down by hitting him with your webs, but that's not actually going to do anything. What you need to do is hit him with a swing. And of course that's going to be complicated by the presence of the rain. So you just sort of have to figure out the timing. Basically, wait for him to hit the wall. And if, oop. Yeah, if you're on the opposite side, if he hits the wall, give it a second, jump up, and then use your webs. You can also hit him from the other direction. Just keep an eye on where the rain is pointed, because it will, it will change your trajectory. And you can see every time you hit him, he sort of glows, which is your indication that you're doing it right. There we go, and takes a few hits. And there you go. The uh, Rhino robot has been dealt with. Well done, Spidey. So we're going to keep on going in order of the heroes, and up next is Wolverine. Alright Dan, thanks for watching, and as per usual, if you have any questions or uh, comments or, you know, uh, anything specific you want to know, just drop them down below. Alright, I'll talk to you later.